got back from running all the errands, I'm like, that is my workout for the day. I like walked all the way around, just like around my neighborhood, dropping things off, picking things up, all that. So I thought I'd do a little haul of things that I got and some of the unnecessary things that I got, even though I really just went out to go get beads and drop off like art stuff and clothing. I ended up coming back with some more things that may be slightly unnecessary. Start off with this bag. I stopped by one of my favorite stationery shops today and I was like walking past it and in my mind I was like, I don't need to go there. But then I instantly turned around and I was like, actually I do because I wanted to pick up some cards for some friends. So I went and picked up some uh, birthday cards and just like general cards that I wanted to sign to a few friends of mine. And then I also came away with like a poster which I'll, I'll show you. Um, I've been wanting like another piece of art like near my bed because it's like a very empty wall right now. I have like a painting that my mom did on the right side and that left side is just completely empty. And so I've been like eyeing this uh, poster for a while now. It's like one of those vintage posters. I think a lot of like kind of stationery shops sell these, but it's a little, it's a, butterfly poster and butterflies are like one of my favorite insects it's kind of weird to think of them as insects i feel like they're their own entity of like creature but i got this butterfly print and i'm really excited about it i'm gonna put it on my bedroom wall so finally made the purchase of this i got these really cute greeting cards. This one's a little happy birthday card that I'm gonna send to a friend and then another one that I'm gifting to a friend of mine. Um, but I just thought it was so cute. It's very like October Halloween vibes. So I thought it'd be perfect to gift to her. Right here we have the purchase, the things that I got from the bead shop. They're kind of like cloth beads and I just love the colors of these. I thought they would be, they would be so cute with the ornaments. So like, for example, like I would just put it kind of like this and it would hang. I just thought it was so cute. So I think this would look really great with the ornaments. I just got like a hand, like just four of them just to try it out. And if I ended up really liking these, I'd go back for a whole set. But I really like these colors and I think they'll complement the ornaments really well. I got this earring pair. I just really love the kind of vintage heart. Uh, feeling of it and I love this brown color. I've been really drawn to like more brown color jewelry for some reason and I just love how this heart has that kind of like toffee color um, for the heart in the inside. So I got these for myself and then I also got these earrings. I just I love like the the two-tone of like this warm like brown and yellow color and it kind of reminds me of the like, tr traditional Korean fabric design called pojagi. Um, so I really wanted to get these ones because they reminded me of that. So I thought they'd be really cute to wear. And then here, it's actually a gift for a friend. So if you're watching this, you probably have already gotten this by now because <laughs> these, I wanted to get these earrings for her and they're just these little hummingbird earrings. I thought they were so cute. And she really likes birds, so I thought these would be these would be perfect for her. That is my haul. Uh, that's all the things that I got. So I think for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna work on organizing shop stuff and finishing off making these ornaments and kind of work for the rest of the day. <laughs>
just got this in the mail and I think I know what it is. This um, art store called Etch Etra sent me, aw, sent me some washi tape, sent me a sketchbook to try out, which is this one. I think it's called, it's called, it's this, E-T-C-H-R Lab. Ooh, it's the accordion sketchbook. They sent this to me, um, and I'm excited to try it out and see what it's like. I'm always down to try a new sketchbook. Ooh, this is the sketchbook. Wow, that's a nice, it's a nice size. Thank you so much for sending me the sketchbook. I'm excited to try it out. Is this finished spread it was sort of like a testing kind of spread where I was testing out different mediums on this paper because this is my first time using a um, Etcher lab accordion sketchbook and specifically from this brand so I just really wanted to try it out and see what the paper quality was like and overall really love this paper quality the texture is amazing as you can see these are color pencils um, that I used on this paper and they just turned out super vibrant and lovely and then I used all watercolor here as well so it kind of a mixed media of color pencil and watercolor together, but I really love the paper quality and the texture of it. It turned out so well. This type of paper is a 100% cotton paper, which is one of my favorite types of paper to use when I'm drawing or painting. And then it's made on hot press paper. So let me look up actually what hot press is to for difference from cold press. I always get this confused. Okay, I just looked it up and hot press is basically a surface where it's completely smooth and has no texture or um, I think as Google says, virtually no tooth to the paper. So it looks really seamless and that is very true of this type of paper as you can see here. Has not that typical kind of like watercolor texture nature to it which i actually really like for this specifically and i tend to work on papers that are uh, hot press and don't have that kind of texture so that is that's the type of paper for this for the subject matter i wanted to do a still life painting and drawing of these flowers that my friends got me for my birthday, which is very sweet of them, and I just really love this kind of color combination. So I thought it would be a great way to test out those colors with my watercolor here. This is my watercolor palette. This is a palette that I had upcycled like a couple months ago. I think it was probably like early summer at this point, but I've had this palette since I was in elementary school. It's my first 
watercolor palette. I shared it with my sister when we used to take art classes together and had recently found it in my childhood home in our basement when I was cleaning it out and decided to uh, reuse this one. So it's like one of my favorite palettes just because of the size of it and how um, how many colors I can add in here and do a lot of like mixing and stuff. So this is like one of my favorite palettes and that's what I used here for the watercolor. As you can see, it's super vibrant. I am really impressed with the paper quality and how bright the colors look um, from using this. And especially like in person, I feel like on camera it's not capturing the vibrancy of it as much as what I'm seeing right now, but this is really wonderful. Um, so this was like the still life of the flowers I have over here. And then as you can see underneath here, I have my Van Gogh um, art book. And I really love the sunflowers in the back, so I wanted to kind of add that as like a texture piece to this spread and had that underneath the the vase with the I had that underneath the vase with the flowers I am very impressed with this I'm excited to see like what this will all look like at the end because it's since an accordion style it'll be really cool to see like if I fill this sketchbook from start to finish and it kind of come out as like one long piece of artwork or something I think that'd be so fun to see but yeah, that is the sketchbook. I really loved how it, this turned out and I love the quality of it. Highly recommend. I'll add the link to their shop down below uh, so you can check it out. So these are like the new stickers that I made from this sketchbook spread that I did. They're all clear stickers and I absolutely love how they turned out. This one is a little tangerine sticker. And then we have a butterfly sticker here. This one. And then we have some of my favorite flowers, the Cosmos flower sticker. These are, again, all clear stickers which make it look super... Um, I don't know, like the colors like pop even more, I feel like, with it being a clear sticker. So right now I'm taking some product photos of these and I just took some of these Cosmos flowers one and I put it on my water bottle. I'm gonna go grab it and show you. So the sticker behind the Cosmos flower sticker was like really falling apart. So I decided to put that on top of here. Basically, my water bottle is going to be like a walking advertisement of all my stickers. <laughs> it's like where I test it out and see how it all looks together. But yep, that's what it looks like when it has like the clear background, which I love. And then here, I haven't unwrapped these yet, but these are also more clear stickers that I got. And these are going to be for my patrons uh, for my November fun mail. So this is going to be the, the sticker for the fun mail that month. And... These are just like little pomegranates with a monarch butterfly. I kind of combined, I combined this drawing with this drawing and I really enjoyed how it kind of flowed together. So that is gonna be the Patreon reward for November. <music>
to the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I had a lot of fun making this vlog, especially since it was like capturing moments from October, which is my favorite month of all time. It's just so, um, I don't know, I just, I just love the feeling of October. It brings a lot of good memories and enjoy like this gorgeous autumn weather. Although ever since November started, it's been really warm here in the East Coast. It's like, really weird because October was really cool and peak autumn essentially like weather wise like lots of sweaters and all that but in November I'm like literally wearing shorts or a tank top outside it's very strange thank you all so much for those who got something from my shop from my recent shop update it means the world to me I'm really excited to package the rest of those orders and send them out to you thank you all so much for your support and for just yeah, supporting me in my art and my shop. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!